All right. Hi there, everybody. <laughs> I'm the Miss and Zach. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. So we're way up here at max altitude, 8,100 feet. I'm thinking maybe we should get ourselves a new aircraft. So I'm going to retire out of my company here. Probably kick me out of the helicopter. Yep. <laughs> Not our helicopter anymore. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now, which way to my hangar? Uh, that way. All right. So let's see. Can we bring up our phone? No, you can't bring up your phone. I discovered that before. You cannot bring up your phone while you're uh, while you're parachuting. Hmm. Well, let's in our parachute. There we go. And then. Slow it down. All right, let's go into Warstock. So what are we gonna get today? Look at these sales. I'm thinking of a P-45 Nakoda. Now, uh, there is other choices, but I can't help it. I've wanted one of these since I've seen it. And it's on sale right now for 40% for the next week. So it's uh, almost 1.2 million, but it's normally 1.9. Yeah. Let me check. Yeah, 1.9 normally at the trade price. Now, if you don't have the unlock price, which you should have if you get a hangar, which you kind of need to have it, it's uh, 2.6 million and 53,000. So it's about 700,000 less if you do the uh, the missions. Yeah. yeah. So let's get one. It isn't something you do. It's something you are. Ever since you heard them whisper that your grandpa was a dogfighter in the war, you knew deep in your bones that you had to found out your destiny. You had found out your found your destiny. Sure, you had to kill lots of pets and strays before you learned what they really what that really meant. But now you're out on parole, and the B-45 Nakoda is the only aircraft worthy of your dream. So fire up, make for the border, and do the old man proud. <laughs> That's hilarious. Didn't know a dog fighting man. Bye now. All right, be delivered to our hangar shortly. Perfect. All right, let's swing back around to our hangar. Oh, it's right down there. Now, I do have two parachutes, but I don't know if they're equipped or not. Do you think we should find out? Let's find out. So how do I get out of this thing? That's weapons. There we go. Hey. Ah, uh, see, whenever you rely on your secondary parachute, it's not there. You have to go to the ammo place to, uh, to unlock it. Yeah, we're not to unlock it, but to uh, equip it. And I find even though you've bought it, you have to re-equip it often. Oh no, don't look everybody. <laughs> hey, we dropped some money. <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh well. Let's get ourselves our personal vehicle. Pick up our lost bucks. <laughs> See, it's right down the street. How much do we drop? 55 bucks. Well, it's our 55 bucks now. <laughs> yeah, so if you have two parachutes, you do want to equip them. Yeah, boo. And I'm not sure. Maybe it's supposed to. Maybe it does sometimes stay equipped as long as you don't die. But once you die, you have to re-equip it at some point in time. Otherwise, all you get is the single one that you get from uh, hopping in the aircraft. Alright, in we go to our hangar. They have access to the base. Let them through. Did you not hear your orders, man? Let's go. They do this sometimes. Oh, well, usually just tap it and they let you in. <laughs> it has gone up a little bit. What's going on here today? Jeez, scratching my car. Oh. Oh, they didn't see that. See, scratch my car, and then I'm scratching my car. P-45 Nakoda's now confirmed as having been delivered. All right, let's go get it. Yeah, Southern Gate Guard is uh, not the greatest. I guess that would be Eastern Gate. Yeah, Eastern Gate. I go through the West usually. <laughs> right, no, wait. I'm backwards. Yeah, East, that's the West. The west side, he's a little, a little too relaxed. <laughs> Doesn't open the door for anybody. Ah, poor, poor pariah. <laughs> All right, let's head in.
Might have to reorganize my hangar too. Ta -da. I don't know, not know why it does that. <laughs> Sometimes I leave it, I think I might leave it there just because it does that every now and again, something different. But yeah, you come in here and the glass smashes. Then you come out and it's usually fine, so I don't know why it does that. <laughs> well, welcome back to the hangar, everybody. Yeah. So let's check out our new Nakoda. And yes, there's the Mabushka over there sitting there stock. We're going to do that soon. I should have just done it. But I was waiting to have some people on so I could show you all the seating. And unfortunately, it's one of those kinds of vehicles where you need the other people to be able to see the other seats. You know, some vehicles you can get in the different seating, but not that one. Well, let's have a look. It is nice. P45 Nakoda. Yeah, so the P45 Nakoda is uh, obviously based on the P51 Mustang. Although, it does have traces of other fighter planes too. Um, you know, to me, that nose I can see. Like, it reminds me of the... Um, uh, Oh, what is it? Oh, famous. Oh, the Spitfire. Yeah. Yeah, and there is libraries for both uh, American World War II libraries and uh, British World War II libraries, too. Yeah. I guess it would technically be Commonwealth. A lot of people think of it as British, exactly, but the circle would have been Commonwealth for the most part. Cool. Very cool. All right, let's hop in. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we'll hop in right now. <laughs> so it comes with a stock with those six... Uh, Six guns. Eat a modifier aircraft. If we want to take it out stock. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not, right? Why not? Let's take it outside. Yeah, and as you guys can see, it's got that funky new steering that some of these things have. Which is kind of nice. Basically, it means like you can almost go sideways as you're going along. So it helps you uh, navigate inside and outside of... Uh, tight places, or if you get it stuck. Something to remember. Yeah, only machine guns. When it's stock, anyway. But you cannot get a bomb bay in it, unfortunately. So no dive bombing. It's too bad. I would have liked it if they let you, even if it was just like a single bomb at a time, you know. Didn't hold many, it still would have been nice. Well, I already got clearance. Odd. Gave me clearance twice today. Woohoo. Nice. Yeah, so stock, she's definitely capable. And the machine guns are decent defense. And apparently, it'll slow down even when you put down the, uh, yeah, the landing gear. So like they would do a lot of times in the old World War II planes, it would slow you down doing this. So it was a form of air braking. People know that, but in this vehicle, the moment you do that, see how my flaps went down? See, it automatically does that. It's kind of cool. Something I heard about. So other planes don't really do that, you know, but this one's getting ready to land or slow you down the moment you do that. So if you want to do a tight turn against somebody, just hit that, and then you'll slow down to do the tighter turn, then go back in. <laughs> a little bit of buzz in the tower. Very cool. I like it. Apparently at slow speed you have to watch that it doesn't nose down too much on you. We don't have to worry too much if we damage it right now though because we're just about to take it in the hangar anyway. It's got a tendency as you can see to roll like just like right away. <laughs> Which is good I guess for tight takeoffs but you know, when you're moving it around, taxiing, as I guess it would be called, um, you want to be careful with that. Oh, yeah, just kind of tap it instead of pressing it. All right, back inside we go. So, yeah, it's called the P-45 Nakoda, and uh, Nakoda actually means um, a feral horse, <laughs> which a Mustang is a feral horse, so it's an obvious reference to the Mustang there, too. Yeah, very cool. All right. Let's hop back out for a quick second. Make you guys wait a second. Now that we're getting more serious, we gotta we gotta change. Flying sock. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's hop back in. There we go. Seats one, obviously. Thanks. Thanks, Charlie. 
The vision is uh, death from above. <laughs> Armor for 37,500. And I think all this is 25% uh, off right now for this week. Yeah. Countermeasures, we definitely want. Smoke is pretty pointless, but I guess it's nice to have options rather than none. It'd be nice if they gave us both, you know, because then that'd be fun. But to, to pick smoke over this, man, no. Or they had to make these cheaper. Oh, well. So generally you want flares. If you ask me, they're better. And as you can see, it holds 20 flares. And with the chaffs, you get 10. So we're going to get the uh, flares. 82,500. He's got nothing to say about that. Oh. <laughs> Guess he's unimpressed with countermeasures. <laughs> drop tanks. Okay, so these don't do anything. They, I think they would have been extra fuel and you would drop them as you got further out or if you needed to be more maneuverable. I'm going to get them because why not? Options instead of none. Sure. Sold. 5,500. Engine upgrade to level 4 for 25,000. Mm hmm. Pure M. Handling. Ah, this is a hard one. I think I'm going to go with race handling. But just so you guys know, a lot of these new aircraft, um, they have different handling. Now, some people just assume that the, the top is the best, and that's not always the case. Certain vehicles, depending on your style of flying, you might like them with different types of handling. Yeah, people who have bought a Hunter, the Apache, they'll know what I mean. Like, they, the different levels actually make a difference in whether your aircraft goes up or stays level. And, you know, it's more like a, a style. Yeah, 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 Charlie. Okay, race handling, 26,250. <laughs> All right. Livery, well, one second. Weapons, primary weapons. Homing missiles for 146,250. On sale again for 25% off. Yeah, three on each wing. Thanks. Cost enough. <laughs> okay, now let's have a look at those libraries. So God save the king. It's too bad you can't just change or use somehow. Hmm. Classic uh, Commonwealth, classic British. Yeah, you can see the flag on the back there. Crab air. <laughs> yeah, cool. And there's a tin pickle hunter. That's got a little number at the back too. Well. Cupid's itch. That's nice. Uh, hanger warrior. Very classic. And you've got the picker checker. <laughs> Dirty Gertie. Not bad. Root and Tootin. It's got the Nakoda. I think that chick's on a different one. I think she's on the, uh, the Tula, that particular uh, art. Hmm. A little bit different, though, I think. So I think it's got the all aboard on it. Hmm. And Shrapnel Catcher. In style, about the moment, Charlie. In style. That's how we want to blow up people. <laughs> Desert Rat. And that's it. Hmm. Hmm. Hard decisions. Well, I think I do like that desert rat. I also like the uh, the root and tootin. Classic look. Sometimes, sometimes pickings hard. Black metallic, matte black. Well, that's. Funky lugging. Hmm. Metals. <laughs> Brush steel, black steel. It's a difference between black steel and regular. A little darker, that's not bad. Hmm. And probably be getting some sandy browns and greens, of course. Yep, some of those camo earth tones. Maybe some blues too for navy. Yeah, gray is. Cool. I think I am gonna go with that brushed black steel. And by the looks of it, the default is uh, like a aluminum almost, like a darker aluminum. Something in between black steel, or brushed steel and aluminum. So just a little darker. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take the brushed black steel, 11,500. Oh, it does have a secondary. That's good to know. Yeah, perfect. Hmm. Do I want the black on there? Uh, it does look good. Gray matches it. I think I'm going to pick black. Mm -hmm. Who's that coffin? 
<laughs> it's when he's talking and then he coughs with a different voice. <laughs> he's the only other one in here. So, all right. Uh, 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 no, not respray, library. All right, now with the, uh, the different belly. Somewhat, depending on the library that I pick. You can see some of my colors come through, but some of the libraries change it. Then Pickle Hunter's not bad either. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might get the Nakota girl on there. Why not? It's old. Sure. Even though that makes my secondary color mostly pointless. <laughs> well, all right. So let's, uh, well, let's quickly end the girl. Oh, I will. So it looks like we've somehow already got some kills on there. Maybe she just came from Warzone. A lot of people say these stripes are actually invasion stripes, so they would have been D-Day colors. Hmm. Very cool. Let's head out. Try out our new weaponry. I think she's looking better now. Much, much better. And we could just take right off from here. I'm sure she'd make it. But, yeah, no. It's my first lift off. We should at least do it on the runway. Let's see if we can line her up from cinematic. Oh, no, wait. That's the line I want over there. We might just want some body armor. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, she's ready to lift off like right away. I could have just pulled her up. <laughs> All right. Well, she's very quick for the aircraft that she is. A lot of the stunt planes, I find them kind of uh, um, hard to handle. Like They're almost too sensitive. But this is just right a little bit, if you ask me. I can maneuver this no problem. Alright, we've got homing missiles and regular missiles. So that's nice to know. attack the bridge back there. Not sure if I've practiced enough for this yet to do that, but we'll try. Let's see if we can dive bomb. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> Bad day for him to show up. <laughs> Sorry, man, my missile arc got you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice. Not quick enough that they don't really stand a chance, I don't think. We'll have to watch out for ground fire. Tank fire, too, for that matter.
<laughs> Jeep's down there. That seems to have decent homing. somehow lost them. They don't want to fight with us. Because <laughs> we definitely didn't try to get away. <laughs> yep, she can cruise well. Just doing a little engine off test here. There's us. Ooh. Yeah, she's nice and nimble. Starts right back up in a second. <laughs> a little rougher. But yeah, she definitely saves herself pretty quickly. I like that. Alright. Well, I can't wait to use this in some action. Uh oh. Pull up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys, I definitely approve of the Nakoda. My only real complaint is that, uh, like I said, no bomb bay. I would love it if I could dive, dive bomb in this, even though I've got a feeling I'd die a lot. <laughs> It'd still be fun, you know? But yeah, otherwise, she is nice. And now we've got ourselves a World War II fighter plane. I think I'm gonna get myself one of those gliders too, just because I want one in ultralight for sunsets and sunrises. And uh, maybe some other aircraft, too. I'm looking at the Starling. Yeah, lots of good aircraft. Bruh. Yeah. I guess he won't raise the visor in this one. <laughs> All right. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I am the Mizzen Zog. Hope you like our little Nakoda review. I definitely recommend getting one while they're 40% off. But, uh, you know, they might come on sale again in the future. And they're a decent plane. I like them. They, a lot of people didn't like them when they first came out because there wasn't a whole lot of changing options, but you know, I think it's great just the way it is. Yeah, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I should get my bambushka ready too while the sails are on too. Alright, take care everybody. See you again next time. She flies, no problem. Mm -hmm. I like the tracer rounds.
<laughs> yeah. Watch out for that. <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, even at low level it can do a it can do a one of with loop de loop. It can do a right over itself, but no, not quite. You need a little bit more. Hmm, good to know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Now it looks like a World War II fighter plane that you might find today. <laughs> a little more rusted though, though, I guess, but tail sticking out of the water like that. <laughs> Wars, help me out. How cheap is it? Super cheap, right? Super cheap. Force Mutual, how can I be of service? One thousand dollars. Woohoo. Okay. Alright. Take care, everybody. Don't be afraid to break it. It's only a thousand bucks. Woohoo. Not bad at all. All right. Very happy with that. And it's also classified as a small aircraft. For those that are wondering, I'm sure that most people would guess that, but you know, some people want to know because there is uh, the medium and large and small aircraft. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you again next time. See you.